Okay, so lots going on. Um, I did a video, but I think I'm just gonna insert like a small little clip um, about this workshop I'm building. So I'm gonna, this has turned out to be a lot bigger project than I originally expected. Uh, if you want the too long didn't read, it's there's gonna be a 25 by 52 foot building here um, in the somewhat near future. Um, I've done a lot to get prepared and I have to do a lot to get prepared for it. Part of that is we're gonna be running um, some new cable um, for this house. So this house, we just bought it a few months ago. It came with um, this tiny little breaker panel. This is the main breaker for the whole house. Um, as you can see, it's uh, lots of double breakers in here just to get them all to fit. It's completely tapped out in terms of size. It's also tapped out in terms of capacity. It's 150 amp panel. 150 amp breaker on the other side of the house. So there's an external uh, like where the power comes into the house. So um, at any rate, 150 amp, it's not enough um, for what we're gonna do. So um, I got a couple quotes from some big electrician type companies. Um, and they, I mean, the cheapest quote I got was 10 grand. Um, sounds expensive to me. I am very much a do-it-yourself kind of guy, but I'm also not licensed electrician. Um, so I did some research and I found a licensed electrician that does some of this stuff on the side. And so today we're gonna be installing uh, this big load center um, here. So it's got 40 some spaces. I think it's 40 spaces total um, versus that little guy. So this is gonna take the place of that. Um, we've got to do this because this is not only maxed out, but I need a um, line to go to the new shop that's going to be a 100 amp breaker. Um, so we've got to kind of make space for all this stuff. Um, so I've got some new AFCI um, to replace these older GFCI required by code these days. And then I've got the cable. So this is 4 aught SCR aluminum cable. Uh, this runs 75 foot. There's enough to go up through the attic to the entrance, service entrance. And then this guy here, we're going to pre-run um, to the shop. Not really to the shop entirely, but we're going to put a box on the wall. Um, actually, just it's going to be basically go from there up through the attic and get dropped right here by the AC. And then uh, the shop's going to be out here. So let's talk about the shop a little bit. So. Um, originally it was going to be 25 by 45. Um, I've got 43 and a half feet of space between the house um, and our neighbor's property. You can see the orange flags over here. That's uh, the neighbor's property basically. So um, where we're at here in Florida, they need, and this potential, particular um, residential zoning, I need nine feet. So I got nine feet here, nine and a half technically between there, those two flags. I have a big garage door here, a 16 by 11 garage door. And then over here, we're gonna be uh, cleaning this up, putting in some nice white vinyl PVC fence to uh, for a place to store the trash cans. Um, and then a walkway. We'll go back here. We'll have a front door or a side door, I guess, to uh, the main workshop. Uh, another gate in this area. And then back here, uh, my wife's going to get the back half of the shop, back quarter of the shop, we'll call it. Um, so she's got some, some space to do some of her stuff. So originally this was going to be 45 feet deep. Um, but with the addition of needing some room for her, we extended it. So this is the old spot, this pink flag, new spots, this orange flag. As you can see, there's um, a bit of a slope here. Um, we're gonna basically have to excavate this. So me being the DIY type person I am, I got quotes. I have to build a retaining wall. It's gonna be roughly three feet tall back here somewhere and uh, it'll slope down, right? So it's slope along where the neighbor's property is, basically. Um, I've got three quotes, 9,000, 9,700, and 11,750, which in my opinion is absolutely insanity for this type of work. I, I know it's not gonna be easy. Like there's no doubt about that 
this is not going to be um, a super simple project by any means, right? Now, that being said, um, I can do the materials for around $2,000 back here. And, um, yeah, I mean, to be completely honest, I just, uh, I just bought an excavator on eBay. So that's getting shipped here. Should be here in the next week or two. So stay tuned for a video on that. But at any rate, 25 wide, widest we could go. 52 foot deep, 12 foot ceilings inside, a 16 by 11 door on the front. The first 32 feet of the shop will be mine. So I'll have 25 by 32, um, plenty of room for what I need to do. Um, and then also we changed our minds on the the uh, roof. We're gonna do a some storage trusses up there. So there'll be probably, I don't know, 10 foot, maybe even more, probably more like 14 foot wide uh, storage area. And then I probably I plan to get a little creative on uh, maybe some sort of uh, like a, I don't know, say elevator, but a, a motorized system to get things up into the attic without having to carry them up some um, shady stairs, we'll call it. At any rate, so this is where we're at today. The electrician's on his way over here right now um, to do some of this work. Um, I talked to a couple people that kind of do it on the side. He seems to know what he's doing. He was able to get all the correct permitting and everything. He's licensed all that good stuff. So we're going to do that today. I'll probably try to take some videos throughout the process. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where we're at for right now. Um, oh, by the way, this is saving at least $5,000 versus what I was quoted um, from some of the big electric companies. And to be completely honest, it's really, it's not that hard. It's just the, the licensing and the, uh, and the, yeah, licensing and the permitting is the hard part. So anyways, this is going away and um, that guy is getting put in place of it. So I'll, uh, we'll see what happens uh, later today. All right, so here's the um, aftermath of the breaker install. A couple things that still need to be kind of cleaned up a little bit. Um, so the wiring for the Tesla outlet, the um, this guy, 1450 outlet, was not long enough. So I've got to replace some of those wires. Those are not hot, so they're not actually plugged into any breaker right this second. But um, that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this down here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but have an access panel to the underside. Uh, actually, I'm going to add another set of outlets down here um, so that there's another circuit. This circuit here literally only goes to the uh, 3D printers because um, I don't want to like share that um, with anything else because I actually do draw quite a bit of power. Uh, so anyways, that's um, it's done. Pretty straightforward and simple and uh, so much cleaner now with individual breakers. Uh, of course, got some AFCI outlets and or breakers instead of GFCI as required by code these days. Um, yeah, and then still have, of course, a 100 amp breaker that's gonna get installed to go to um, the new workshop. And then I just gotta put in the, the uh, breaker for the Tesla plug.